Hi everybody, it's Courtney, and this is the last stop on the encouragement card hop. So as you guys are probably aware by now, participants had the option of either creating a YouTube video, creating a blog post, or if they didn't have either one of those, they could mail in a card or multiple cards like some of them did to be featured in this video. So I'm gonna go through all of the cards that I've received for this hop, give a little background of information on the creator of the card, as well as the techniques and products that they used. I have to say that I was pretty blown away and very impressed by all of the talented creators that have been part of this hop. So I thank all of the participants and I thank all of the viewers for helping us celebrate everyone. Thanks guys. Okay, so we're going to go into our first four cards here, and these were all sent in by Lisa from Southern Oregon. She has been a busy, busy lady. So we're going to start off with the first card here, which uses the Zen Bouquet stamp set by Honeybee Stamps, and she did heat emboss this and color this in with her Copic markers. She has some embellishments around there, and look at that square die she's got there. She also stamped the image on the inside along with the sentiment. For her second card, she used some pattern papers and a hexagon die, as well as this dude that has a ton of dimension, and I don't know whether you guys can even see that on camera, but lots and lots of dimension to this, as well as the Tiny Words Sentiment Stamp Set by Simon Says Stamp. For her third card, she used a couple different Lawn Fawn stamp sets. She used the Ahoy Matey and Mermaid to You. She has a Distress Ink background here and lots and lots of waves. For her fourth card, she used the, and I'm probably going to say this wrong, the Sweet Camellia or Camellia stamp set. That's by Gina K Designs. She used her Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens to color that. You can see that she's got some spatters in the background. I love spatters. She used a stitched a rectangle die and used some pattern paper in the background. Again, with that Simon Says stamp, tiny words sentiment stamp set. And I wanted to show you her envelopes as well. She stamped the flap of the envelopes on all of them. And I just thought that that was a great touch to all of her cards. So I wanted to keep that in here. So for the next card, this is made by Zoe and she is from the San Francisco Bay area. And this is absolutely stunning. She used the To a Wild Rose stamp set by Stamping Up, Stampin' Up. And she watercolored that. She used the tonic, I think it's called mirror cardstock for the frame. And she has a ton of dimension here, as well as the sentiment. It's, it's, this is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And the envelope is nice and thick too. And she decorated the envelope. She added a flower to the envelope as well. So next we have a set of three cards and I left these in their packaging because I wanted to show you how beautifully she packages everything. And these are all made by Angela from Port Orange, Florida. She is known as Southern Bella Cards and she has these beautifully packaged. She's got her little sticker there with her logo and her business card inside. So I haven't even opened these yet. She did give me a little sneak peek on Instagram. So I was able to, to get a little sneak peek of these cards, but we are going to open these together. So she has these nicely packaged up and protected with a piece of vellum here. And for the first card here, she used the um, papers from Authentique, I believe you pronounce it as, as well as a doily die, and she embossed the sentiment. Used lots and lots of embellishments here, as well as some um, lace. Beautiful. For her second card, which she also has beautifully packaged here. Oh, I just tore it. She used for this one a stitched rectangle die for the main part here. And these are some more pattern papers. She did distress the edges. I hope you guys can see that on camera because it gives a very subtle look, but it definitely adds to the pattern paper to kind of give it a vintage look or a distressed look. She also has a stitched rectangle die in the center as well. 
for her third card here. I'm going to be, oh, I tore this one too. She used some papers from Cartabella and the Be Strong by Stampabilities. And this is a heat embossed sentiment. And she used some stitched rectangle dies again for this as well. And again on the inside. And that's just a little finishing touch. And I love that. These are beautiful papers. And that's a flawless embossing job right there. <laughs> Great job, Angela. Next, we have a card from Miriam. And she is from the Netherlands. She used the Botanical Hello stamp set by Mama Elephant. She used her Copic markers to color that in, and she colored it right on this purplish cardstock, and this is from Lawn Fawn. So it gives a very, very nice look to it. And over the sentiment, she has put, oh, she named it too, but I don't have it in front of me. It's kind of like an ivory, it's something shell. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like an ivory, pearly nouveau drops over the sentiment and it gives even more dimension to it and a whole lot of shimmer and pearliness to it it's absolutely stunning and she has an envelope that matches the cardstock perfectly next we have a card from pam johnson and she is from ohio and she has used lots and lots of stuff on here and this is like nothing I have ever seen before. She has used the MFT Our Story stamp set and the Bookworm and Goodread stamp sets by Mama Elephant, and they go perfectly together. She did some alcohol or used some alcohol inks on a piece of poster board, which she said she's learned from Mary Polanco. So thank you, Mary. And she mentioned that this is the only the second time she's used alcohol markers and she used the Ohuhu markers that Mary always uses. And second time, you did a phenomenal job with the coloring on this. This is absolutely fantastic. There's so much weight to this card and the envelope. I mean, my gosh, if I could make an envelope like this, I would be happy, let alone a card. And she decorated the envelope as well. Beautiful, beautiful job. Next, we have a card from Kim Breslin, and she is from Northern California. And she used the Friendly Advice from Inka Dinka Do, as well as the Sea Babies from Avery L. And I love that you guys are switching up and mixing together companies for stamp sets because they go so well together, um, but sometimes we forget to kind of expand a little bit. She used her Copic markers and some Distress Oxides for the stent the stenciling and she has a whole lot of shimmery glittery goodness on those little fish i don't know whether you guys can see it on there but it is a whole lot of fun and next we have three cards and these are from mary from utah our first card here is from the simon says stamp card kit and i think this was june or July. I can't remember which is which. I'm drawing a blank here. But she has colored in her three little bees here, beautifully colored in. She added their little trails there for them flying. And I have to say that she's a master at fussy cutting. If she didn't use a scan and cut on this, then she is a pro at the fussy cutting. Her second card and her third card are both using the Doris stamp sets. These little burgers and fries and the cheese and the grater, and they're so cute. This one has some Distress Ink background here with some pattern papers, and I mean, the sentiment is just so cute. Same with this sentiment, <laughs> and she's layered on some pattern papers that go so well together. You guys impressed me using the pattern papers that match so beautifully with not only each other but for the images that you're using i do not have that skill but you guys apparently do but she's done a beautiful job coloring with her spectrum noir markers and she even added some blush to their cheeks and that just makes that stand out even more beautiful job next we have a card from terry conrad and she is from plantation florida and she has used the hero arts beach and sea along with some distress oxides for her background as well as the I think these are called the infinity dyes and she's put some acetate on there and it just makes it look like you're looking through the window 
out into the ocean and her Distress Oxide ink blending is flawless. I don't know how she does it. She has the reflections in the water. This is absolutely amazing. I, my, my heart stopped for a minute when I opened the envelope. This is just stunning. So next we have a card from Jean Forster and she is from Delaware and she has used the Unicorn Dreams by Little Acre Creations, which I have to admit I have never heard of before, but I'm going to have to look into that because that's an adorable image. She said that she used the Arteza watercolors, which are one of my favorites, and she did a phenomenal job, especially on this background. I always have trouble with backgrounds with watercolor, but she did a great job. She's got some glitter on the outside, which just everything is better with a little bit of shine. And she's got her sentiment in the center. This is so, so cute. Next, we have a card from Elizabeth from Florida. And she's used a couple different stamp sets again, kind of mixing everything up. And I'm a scene builder. I love scene building, but I don't typically create dimensional scenes. And this is cute. So you have inspired me. Uh, she used the You Got This stamp set by Simon Says Stamp, Make Yourself at Home by MFT, and Playful Pups by The Ink Blot, the Ink Blot Shop. That is a tongue twister. The floor is something that I need to check out. This is by Penny Black, and it's the wood floor die. And it really, I mean, it gives perspective and everything. This is pretty incredible. It even has the little baseboard on there. She's popped up the little pictures and the chair in the background. It's super, super cute. And she's got a little hashtag in the center. Very, very cute. Next, we have a card from Ebony Freeman, and she is from Southern New Jersey, and she has used a couple products from Hedgehog Hollow. She's used the Geometric Menagerie and the Geometric Love stamp sets, and she did some no heat transfer, foil transfer on here using double-sided tape, and this looks incredible. I never thought to use double-sided tape. I've seen people use like regular wet glue, but never double-sided tape. And these results are pretty amazing. So you have also inspired me to try this for sure. She has her sentiment in the center with a stitched banner die. Very, very pretty. In real life, these are so bright and shiny and sparkly and beautiful. Next, we have a card from, this is Nancy F. from Kansas, and she used the Doris Border Die. And I can't imagine how long this took you, Nancy, to piece all of these together. And she used all different variety of purples, and they go great together. She used the Hugs Die from Hero Arts, couple embellishments, and she did mention that the big is actually a, dye that she has in her stash, but it goes so well with that hugs dye. And she used some shiny cardstock for the hugs too. Can't imagine how long this tape took, but it was well worth your time because this is beautiful. The uh, next cards we have here, we have two cards and these are from Lisa Maselli. And I'm hoping I'm pronouncing your names right. Her first card is using the flowers stamp set by Brutus Monroe, and she's doing one of my favorite techniques is the messy watercolor. She heat embossed the image, and then she, I don't know what watercolor she used, but she did a fantastic job. These colors go beautifully together, and she used a stitched rectangle die for that and has her sentiment in the center. For her second card, she used the Sunspots Stencil by Gina K Designs, and she used VersaFine Claire ink for the ink blending. And I've never thought to try that kind of ink. I only have one or two of them, but she really got a great ombre look with them. And she added some embellishments to the centers of some of those circles, and it looks beautiful. And again, sentiment in the center. This is actually die cut or fussy cut out and put in the center, so it really, really pops. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next is a card from my mom. <laughs> so quick story, I went away for a couple of days and she was taking care of my cats. Um, 
which most cats can take care of themselves, but most of you guys or some of you guys know Frankie, and if you didn't know, Frankie has epilepsy, so he needs medicine twice a day, and it's very, very, very important that he gets it. So she was here a lot taking care of them, and I told her to have at it in the craft room. So this is the first time she's ever crafted by herself, first time she ever Copic colored. She used the neat and tangle stamp set friendly florals and obviously she used the copics and some pattern paper she did everything on her own so great job mom the next set of cards are from let's see we have this is from sharon towers in and i might say this wrong to you cumbria the UK. She's from the UK. So she's made three cards and these are huge cards, guys. I'm I'm blown away because I can barely fill up an A2 size card and she has managed to make these gorgeous large cards here. For this first one, she used pixie powders from Creative Expressions, which I'm not sure what exactly they are. I've never used them, but based on this background, I'm going to have to get my hands on them. They are so shimmery and it gives a watercolor look to it. She said she just wets the paper and then puts them on there. And I mean, I'm telling you the shimmer on here, they look like fireworks in the background. They're absolutely beautiful. The dye is from Sheena Douglas and the tiles and the flowers are from Hobby Craft. So I'm assuming that she's got some maybe different companies than we do here in the US. So I'm gonna have to see how I can get my hands on them. For the second card here, she's also used the pixie powders in the background, and this gives a completely different look, as you can see, but still gives that sparkly shininess, and it's so pretty. She's heat embossed the background here, and then has the die cut for her sentiment. For her third card, she has used the Spectrum Noir inks to do some ink blending in the background with a stencil. She's got some heart dies here and she used a Spellbinders hot foil die for the background. I don't know whether you guys can see that. And this one here, she put some glossy accents on it. So it really, really pops. Really pretty, love these larger cards. Next, we have a card from Tammy Nuger, and she is from Arizona, which is my favorite place in the world. And she has used the You've Got This stamp set by Stampin' Up for this flower here in the sentiment. She's used some pattern papers. Again, don't know how you guys do it. I would never think to put these two patterns together, and it looks absolutely stunning. She's used some Tombow markers for the coloring, and she's added a ton of Wink Estella. It's hard to see on camera, and always is hard to see on camera how much shimmer and sparkle things have, but trust me, it does. It is absolutely beautiful. Next, we have two cards from Gwen Simmons, also known as Gigi. And I also got a sneak peek of just this one on Instagram. She showed me a picture of the results that she gets with blue pearl embossing powder on black cardstock. And again, I was impressed just looking at the photo on Instagram. And then when I see it in real life, wow. She's the Jellyfish Background Stamp by Hero Arts. And this, she did a great job because this is a perfect embossing powder to use for a stamp set like that because jellyfish in real life are kind of like that, I don't know, like iridescent looking to it. <laughs> she put some netting down at the bottom to keep with the ocean theme, which is brilliant. And she's got a bunch of encouraging words here in the center. She even has her own little handwritten message. And she's decorated the envelope to match as well. Her second card here, she's mixed some things <laughs> from different companies again and different kits, which I absolutely love. She's used the gold paper here. This is from Love From Lizzie. She's used the Spellbinders die cut shapes and she's kind of pieced those together and it goes beautifully together. And the sentiments are from the Unity Stamp Company. And again, she has a lot of positive messages in the center. And once again, you didn't see my little number there. She has her envelope decorated as well. So next we have a card from Madeline L. And she's from Mission Vieja, California. 
and her card is inspired by Jennifer McGuire. This is a triangle gatefold card. So she's got a little belly band here. And first, I'm going to leave this on for a second because I want you to see how cute this is. She used the MFT Superdog and the City Die, also by MFT. She did some ink blending here in the background and created the perfect sky, perfect scene there with the little dog flying. And she's got her belly band made of vellum. And then the card opens to the dream big with the stencil background. And if I'm not mistaken, this stencil is by Neat and Tangled, I believe. I think I have it. I think I have all the Neat and Tangled stencils. <laughs> but she did an amazing, amazing job. This is absolutely beautiful. And it opens again to say you are strong inside and out. And how perfect is that for the inside of a card? And she's got her little super dog there again. Absolutely adorable. So next we have a four cards and these are sent in from Lords Medina Younger from Winston, Winston Salem, <laughs> North Carolina. And she has made four cards using the My Monthly Hero Never Stop Dreaming card kit. So for this first one here, this is a square card and she's ad added the glossy accents to the wings of the fairy, which is just a perfect finishing touch. She used the Sunny Sunray stencil by MFT for her background and even decorated the inside. For her second card here, she used the MFT Cloud stencil and she's got her sentiment here popped up and this is embossed. Her little fairy dust is embossed. Love how she added some color to the end of the wand there. Or no, what is that? Yeah, I guess it's a wand, right? I don't know. But I love how she added that. Also added that glossy accent again. And once again, decorated a little bit in the inside, which just adds a little bit. And by the way, she decorated all of her envelopes as well. For the next one, she has also used the cloud stencil die. And again, heat embossed the fairy dust coming out. And once again, decorated the inside. For her fourth card, which I forgot to take off her little label there, and thank you guys so much for labeling everything because you made my life a lot easier. <laughs> she did a Distress Ink background or Distress Oxide Ink background with that cloud dye or a stencil and added some ground to this little mouse here. And again, this is all heat embossed. And this little fairy is raised up. And again, this is heat embossed and decorated on the inside. These are beautiful and they go perfectly together or on their own. So next we have a card from Casey and she is from New Mexico. She used the Aloha stamp set by Fiskars and the Stamp Your Own Cactus by Hero Arts. The die is from Sizzix and she used colored pencils along with a glitter pen. She did a phenomenal job with the colored pencils. I struggle with colored pencils, so I admire you for doing such a great job. Her sentiment, it has so much dimension on it. I'm going to turn it to its side so you can see how much dimension this has. It looks like she used some fun foam underneath it to really make that pop, as well as a little pineapple. Very, very, very cute. Next, we have a card from Betty Roberts, and she's from Indianapolis, Indiana, and she has used all Catherine Pooler products, stamps and dies. She has used the stamp sets are Leave Me in Paradise, Tropically Yours, Fearless Pursuit, and the background, which I must get my hands on, is the Canvas Grunge Background Stamp. And I definitely need that. Definitely, definitely. She's heat embossed her sentiment and arranged all of her flowers, popping the center one up to make that the star of the show. And I absolutely love this. And again, flawless, flawless embossing. I am so impressed. I always get specs no matter how careful I am or how perfect it looks on camera. Mine's never perfect. Never perfect, guys. This is flawless. So last but not least, we have a card from Trish Miner, and she's from Mansfield, Connecticut. And she explained where that is. But honestly, Trish, you're not too far from me. <laughs> so she used a the Shimmer and Shine stamp set by Unity Stamp Company and Spectrum Noir Markers to color this and use some a stitched, or it's like the, um, oh, my mind is drawing a blank. It's not really stitched. It's the pierced. 
rectangle die and she's got a ton of dimension here. She's used some different textured cardstock underneath here. She's added some shimmer to the flower, added some twine here and she thinks her bow is bad but it's a lot better than I could ever do. <laughs> and your sentiment is absolutely perfect. She has the sentiment also on the inside with a wonky stitched rectangle die which matches perfect. It looks like she distressed the edges as well. This is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. They all are. She also decorated the envelope on both sides. So a nice finishing touch. Guys, I am so impressed with all of the cards that you guys mailed in, not only with the amount of time and how quickly you sent them in, but with the detailed instructions of what you did. You made my life and my job so much easier. I hope you guys had a great time hopping along. Make sure that you leave comments on everybody's videos and blogs. Leave some love. Give them a thumbs up. Some, For many of them, this is their very first video very first blog post or very first time being involved in anything like this. This is a first for us too. Um, me, myself, Mary, and Jen. So this has been so, so much fun. Thank you guys. I can't thank you enough for sending all of these beautiful cards in and I hope you enjoy the hat. Bye guys.